What's up everybody, it's me the Nerdy Hero, I'm here for a review, a non-spoiler review for Suicide Squad and a lot of the reviewers and critics have been bashing this movie after, right before it's release with the embargo lifting and I was really upset because I actually really wanted to see this movie and I was really excited and it was my most anticipated movie of the year, or no, second most anticipated movie since the war was still my first. Hey everyone. Anyway, I saw this film. And I can now say 100% that I really, really, really like this movie. It's a lot of fun. I like a lot of these characters, the casting, the the teamwork used, but the problems are still there that the reviewers are saying. I can. One of my biggest pet peeves, I say, is pacing. And this movie had not the whole time, but a little bit in the beginning and a little bit in the middle. There was these pacing issues where I feel like they were just kind of fast forwarding a little bit, and. Some of the editing choices when it comes to kind of going back to flashbacks and then forward uh, was very, um, just kind of happened very suddenly sometimes. And the music, even though the music is so much fun and I love the music choices, it's in the beginning quarter of the film, beginning half, there's a lot of music just jump being thrown at you for each character. And for me, it was not a negative or positive, it was just like a fun part of it. But I feel like it, it's kind of like jump takes you out of it because you're like, oh, you're getting used to this one song and actually it just cuts you to another song. And then cuts you to a different one. Like all the songs are just so drastically different. But uh, that's not a negative for me. Actually, I had a lot of fun with that. Um, one of the biggest negatives of the film were that uh, the plot was weak. And there's a lot of reports coming out now that the movie was being rushed right from the beginning. And the script took only a few weeks to write. And they just went with the first draft that they had and they just took off with it. Which is very rare because movies, especially big budgets like that, will have multiple, multiple drafts by different, different writers be like um, filtered through before it even gets to the final version which is then put into production so this movie is being reported that I went through the, that was the first draft we went through so right from the beginning you see that you can tell some of the dialogue was just a little cheesy and feel felt a little forced and I don't really blame the actors for that I blame again the script and I don't blame the director I like the director I like the choices he made I feel like the biggest problem of the movie was basically the script it just came out flat and weak the villain was just kind of just there and campy came I didn't like it too much. I won't talk that much about the villain still because I'm saving that for the spoiler review. But some of the things I did like. All right, so everyone's always gonna be asking, what about Jared Leto's Joker? I can't wait to show you my toys. Uh, without getting too much into it, is he like the best Joker, is he the worst, what is he? I liked him as a Joker, but I cannot give him a good ranking as you know where he stands and all the Jokers really, where he stands with Heath Ledger's or Cesar Romero or Jack Nicholson because he's only peppered in through a lot of the film a couple times here and there it just keeps coming in I like him he's like I'm very very monster like and he is very scary and terrifying but you know I can't give him he's the best man. I need more of him I want to see him more and maybe the, the Batman directed the the, the the Ben Affleck directed Batman movie maybe it'll bring him in that'd be fun to watch because I did like him and a lot of big problems not a big problem but um, another thing I noticed a lot of the f trailers showed a lot of all this footage with Joker and a lot of footage with a lot of characters and a lot of it were actually cut before the end of the film and that happens a lot in films not especially nowadays so it's just another thing I noticed but uh, another character was Will Smith's death shot now he was one of the standout performances of the film triangle bitch of course, of course it's Will Smith I love the guy he, he killed it as the dead shot he has one of the coolest scenes in the film I mean my theater was clapping when he had his moment it was great uh, a character that I started to like more and more during the trailers was uh, Diablo, El Diablo, and during the film, like I thought, I loved him, he was, he had one of the coolest um, stories and um, point of views in the film of what he wanted to do, because he was one of the most, he was probably the most powerful person in the squad, yet he did not want to use his uh, powers for anything, so he had one of the coolest stories, um, and there's obviously Margot Robbie as Harley Quinn. What was that? I should kill everyone and escape? Sorry. It's the voices. <laughs> I'm kidding. That's not what they really said. She just nailed the character. It was awesome to watch her come to life for the first time in film. And right from the beginning when she was cast, everyone was like, yep, this is perfect, perfect casting. And she did wonderful. And I loved her as that. 
uh, obviously Jai Courtney, who gets a lot of flack for his acting ability, really did really well here. I remember when I first saw the first trailer, I'm like, wow, Jai Courtney seems really funny. It was not the first trailer, I think it was the second trailer. So, yeah, he really stood out in that trailer. And now, he actually gets to see him perform, and he has some of the funniest moments in the film work through him. And he did really good, so I'd like to see Jai Courtney do more of that character. So, in the end, I had this movie had problems. I still got over it. I like this movie a lot. I'm going to rate this movie at a... Six point no, I but I don't want to say six point five. I want to go higher. I want to say seven. Mm, you know, just the fact that I enjoyed this movie so much for my personal preference, I'm gonna say a seven out of ten. If I want to get critical with it, I would say six point five. But for me personally, I'm gonna say seven out of ten. I want to see it again and again. I had so much fun with this movie. So remember, guys, tell me down below what you guys thought of the movie. Let's try to keep it spoiler free and save the spoilers for comments for the extra spoiler film. Spoiler review I'm going to do. So remember, you can like, comment, subscribe to my YouTube channel. And remember, keep it nerdy.